Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I have for you a super easy but super glam look that I did on the 4th of July that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you're interested on how I achieved this, then keep on watching. I am first starting off by priming with the Benefit Professional Mattifying Gel. This is just kind of like my overall base to make sure that I'm nice and matte. And then I'm gonna go on top of that with Pores No More from Dr. Brandt. This is a little bit of a pricier primer. I got it in like one of those Sephora uh, VIB things. And then um, for those of you who are like me and on a budget, I've been loving the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. It's a great primer. And I am just setting everything in place with some translucent powder. This one is from Laura Mercier. For foundation, I'm using my tried and true Fenty Beauty Foundation. I know this is going really fast, but honestly, you guys, this was such an easy look to achieve. Um, obviously, I wasn't moving as fast as the video, but it is really quick and easy. So um, I use the Fenty Beauty because I know that it looks good. It looks good in photos. It looks good in person. Um, so I went with that one and then for concealer. I'm using the Estee Lauder double wear I'm gonna need to get a deeper shade in this foundation Especially with summer here and you know getting a little bit more tan. This is really light um, But it blends in really well and it has some nice coverage to it and it has a skin like finish So even though it looks like a lot once it's blended in and it settles it looks really nice and natural So I really like this foundation or I'm sorry this concealer I'm setting my concealer again with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It is my favorite translucent powder, but if you have one that you love, let me know down below because I'm always, you know, willing to try out some new stuff. Then I'm setting my face with my Sephora Matte Perfection powder. I didn't show it because I showed it in every video, um, but that's what I use to set the rest of my face. I do have a brow tutorial if you guys would like to see how I do my brows like in depth. I will link that down below, um, but I kind of just went for fluffy, still sculpted, but fluffy looking. Um, and then I'm contouring with the Black Radiance Medium to Dark Contour Palette. And I'm using the Sculpt Shade to do my nose contour and for my Regular contour, I just mixed the sculpt shade and the contour shade. For mascara, I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang. This is my absolute favorite. And I wanted a little bit of added definition in my crease, so I'm just taking that bronzer shade from that uh, contour palette and just throwing it in my crease. Um, I didn't want anything too dramatic. And then I'm highlighting my brow bone with a creamy shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now let's talk about these lashes for just a second. These are gorgeous and I actually have a video coming out on Sunday about the Your Lash Bar Summer Collection. Oh, they are everything. Um, so be on the lookout for that video. But I wanted to mimic my bottom lashes um, with the top ones. So I'm kind of piecing my lashes together and I kind of like the way that it turned out. It was a little bit different, um, but I thought it added a little bit of a flare to the look. And then I'm using the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1, and I'm using the orange and the pink shade. And then I'm using that gold uh, shade for my highlight. Now I didn't have a deep orange uh, shade for a lip liner, so I'm just using my MAC lip liner in Chestnut, and I'm just going to make sure that I go over that with the liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Mama, and it's by ColourPop. Um, I really fell in love with this shade, and I got it from Ulta. I'll have all the products listed down below with links to where you can get them, but I really, really love this shade. Um, sometimes I'm afraid of of pops of color because they can just look a little too much on me, but this was perfect. And then I'm just highlighting my inner corner with the Jaclyn Hill palette and that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know down below what you think. Make sure that my post notifications are turned on so that you guys can see that lash video because I'm all about lashes and they are super gorgeous. Um, but that's it. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching.